from possibly protecting doppelgangers of the president and the first lady, to the lack of personal space they deal with on a daily basis, here is what the Secret Service doesn't want you to know. Hey guys, this is your host today, American Eye, and I'm bringing to you one of my favorite topics. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Secret Office Headquarters the location of the Secret Service headquarters was a secret until they were officially granted their own building to call home. As you can imagine, it's located not too far away from the White House on 950 H Street, Northwest 1700. The building is unmarked and no trash man comes to pick up the garbage. This is done as a security measure so no one puts a bomb in their trash can. You can also probably imagine that anything that gets thrown away here is top secret. You can also notice the striking similarity in architecture between the book depository in Dallas and this building. Is it just a coincidence? The Secret service headquarters in London almost looks like some kind of Masonic temple, by the way. Travel Expenses One of the great perks of being a Secret Service member is getting to travel everywhere the President goes, all paid for by taxpayer money. And don't believe for a second that they're going to be staying at a rundown Motel 6 to cut costs. When President Trump got to travel at Mar-a-Lago Resort in Palm Beach, Florida, he got to bring some of his goons with him to get some presidential treatment. A report from the Government Accountability Office says that four similar trips, including Mr. President and the Secret Service, cost roughly $13.6 million, some of which cost over $3.4 million each. The only way that it could have actually really cost that much is if a lot of ammunition was fired off. There were also some rumors about Chinese spies being on the premises. One woman was caught with four cell phones and a laptop and managed to install a virus on the laptop of a Secret Service agent. Roughly $400,000 was spent on security during the time of Trump's son's travels to the United Arab Emirates. A lot of costs would also include transportation, lodging, food, and various other secret expenses. But is he really in that much danger traveling to some fancy resort on American soil? Who knows? Keeping personal problems on the lowdown. It's not just Trump's security who has secrets. In a book called Crisis of Character, it suggested that Hillary Clinton gave Bill a black eye during their time in office. When you're supposed to protect the president, but it turns out that a family member is causing the problems, how do you handle it? The former Secret Service officer, Gary Byrne, unveils some secrets about Hillary's personality, comparing it to that of Jekyll and Hyde. Despite his reputation being on the line for not keeping everything secret, Byrne is dedicated to telling America how Hillary truly acted behind closed doors. Other Secret Service members came forward about her essentially being abusive towards them as well. Bags of Blood In addition to a bunch of weapons, the Secret Service may be required to carry bags of the President's blood with them in case of an emergency. It's known that his limo called the Beast and Air Force One carry blood on them, but these personal bodyguards slash medics are available in case his vehicles aren't close by. They're mainly trained in 10 minute medicine, which means that they'll know exactly how to keep the president alive for about 10 minutes until an ambulance arrives. The Secret Service also tries to keep in mind where the closest medical center would be in the case of an attack. Is there any secret medicine that they're using that's being kept from the public? Who knows? Bathroom Buddies If you're the president, get used to having some company and some new buddies to go with you wherever you go. The Prez brings around an entourage like no other, and they're his most dedicated fans. The Secret Service will protect the president even during his most vulnerable and private moments, as it's been noted that they will follow him into the bathroom each time he goes. President Lyndon Johnson was known to follow this rule strangely close, and even force his bodyguards to chat with him while he was sitting on the porcelain throne. It would be a shame if a Russian spy were able to sneak through the bathroom vents. Potential Assassin Interviews the president faces a swarm of hate mail each and every day, often threatening his life in one way or another. In fact, threatening the president could result in a Class E felony, which could get you locked up in some federal prison. Don't take that chance. The Secret Service takes any threat made to the president very seriously, but it's still up to them as to whether or not there are real threats or someone who's just talking trash. Any potential assassins might have their lives closely analyzed. They'll interview their friends, family, co-workers, etc. to see if you're serious. During a time when Ronald Reagan received threats, the Secret Service closely investigated and determined that the man actually just had a serious drinking problem and mental health issues. This saved him from being locked up. Lifetime Security Once you become president, you'll notice you get quite a few perks. Some of those perks don't end once the term is up either. Any former president and his family are entitled to the benefits of having Secret Service following them around all the time. This includes the former first lady and his children until they reach the age of 16. If the former lady decides to get a divorce or the former president passes away, she loses the rights to Secret Service protection. Of course, the older presidents likely don't get the best of the bodyguards, but there's still much to look out for. Former presidents often make public appearances, so there are some risks. This was a fairly recent law that was passed down by Obama in 2013, and it's known as the Former Presidents Act. 
No sworn oath. You'd assume that the Secret Service is sworn to protect the president no matter if his life is in danger or not. You'd think that he'd probably throw himself in front of the president and take a bullet for him, but that's not always the case. It's understandable that they might put themselves in dangerous situations in order to protect the president. It's sort of like a supposed oath the president has to protect the security of Americans, or the one that the cops have to save civilians from life-threatening situations. They don't really have to, but they should. Limo access. If you're one of the lucky Secret Service members, you might get the chance to ride in the president's limo. But there's a secret that you should be aware of. The windows can survive about 50 rounds from the same rifle before it eventually breaks. That would require a gun that has a very high firing rate and an extremely accurate shooter. It seems very unlikely that this will ever happen though. To top it off, they would also have to try to hit the president inside the limo and not the heavily armored frame of the car. If you don't get inside the same limo as the president, there's also a good chance you'll get into a decoy car. In the motorcade, the president rarely travels without a secret service goons nearby. In some cases, it might even include up to 20 to 30 vehicles like we saw during Ronald Reagan's funeral. The convoy might include some other beasts just in case, since there's a total of 12 of them, and this would throw off potential attackers. A big mistake. A security lapse took place during the Obama administration when a security contractor with a gun got into the same elevator with Obama and the Secret Service. It turned out that he had a record of assault and the Secret Service men weren't supposed to let anyone onto the elevator, let alone a man with a gun. It's unlikely that he would have been able to run way too far if he had gone through with the assassination, but he certainly had a chance to pull it off. Pikachu Intrusion some people think they can roam around the White House as they please. Despite our tax dollars paying for it, we can't just walk around it like we own the place. One of the more recent and comical White House intrusions was in 2014. This photo here captured the tense moment when Secret Service approached him with automatic weapons drawn and a guard dog on a leash. The anime fan got some harsh treatment from the Secret Service and some force looked possibly necessary. But if you're crazy enough to walk on the lighthouse lawn with a Pikachu hat, who knows what else you're capable of? This guy here on social media even claims that he was holding on to a Pikachu stuffed animal as well, did they just catch an assassin or what? Filming the president. When the president goes out in public, he can rest assured that anyone who tries any funny business will be caught on camera. He's constantly being filmed, not only for training purposes, but also just in case a crime is committed against them. Despite all the controversy the tapes of the JFK assassination have created, the footage is still used for training new staff who will undergo the task of protecting the first family and former presidents. You'll notice that many moments of assassination attempts have been caught on camera, and it's not just a coincidence. Car crash surveillance tapes erased. So what happens if you're the Secret Service and there might be some evidence against you caught on camera? That's simple, just destroy all the evidence. A man named Bruce Danforth lost his life when he was struck by Secret Service agents in New Hampshire when the agents were involved in a head-on crash. Although it appeared as though it was the other driver's fault, the Secret Service claimed that the crash surveillance footage went missing. Could they be reptilian? Could there be an alien race sent down to Earth in order to protect our president? If our government was up to no good and making deals with aliens, you'd have to believe that the aliens would be sending some of their representatives to Earth. They might do this to keep an eye on us and make sure we don't say anything wrong. The Secret Service could really just be a big group of reptilians who could be using a mind control device in order to have our leaders make decisions that will benefit them. Or it could possibly be to track the president wherever he goes to make sure he never says anything about aliens. Body doubles. World leaders might do just about anything it takes to maintain their power. With the increase of clone technology, you have to wonder how easy it would be for future presidents to have body doubles that look exactly like them. Body doubles have been used throughout history, and they might attend events that are a little bit more dangerous than others. While they might show a lot of loyalty and dedication to the president, they might pay the ultimate price if an assassination takes place. The Secret Service might not even know if they're protecting the body double or not. It's been rumored that Melania Trump has several body doubles who are actually better trained in protecting the president. And number one, burn the evidence. Ever wonder what happens to all the classified documents the government at the Pentagon wants to get rid of? Where exactly do they go? The answer is simple, the burn bag. This photo here shows a burn bag just chilling right next to Obama and Joe Biden, and inside is the information they don't want you to know about. While shredded, documents can be pieced together like a puzzle. The contents in a burn bag, however, will be thrown into an incinerator, either on the property or somewhere close by. The Pentagon is said to use burn bags for various reasons.